Meantime, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, is being encouraged to support an international treaty proposal for pandemic preparedness and response by the World Health Organization, WHO. These proposed treaties aimed at protecting the world from future pandemics, applying lessons learned from COVID-19 to build a more robust global health architecture through enhanced international cooperation. In an address to the OECS during its fifth assembly sitting in June, WHO's Director General Dr. Tedros underscored the need for global multilateral cooperation to address current and future health threats. The pandemic has shown us that we can only respond to shared threats with shared solutions. There is now an emerging consensus for the idea of an international treaty on pandemic preparedness and response to provide the solid foundation for closer international collaboration to share the data, information, resources, technology, and tools that every nation needs to keep its people safe. Dr. Tedros beseeched the region's leaders to get on board with this effort to advance global health security. As you know, at last month's World Health Assembly, member states agreed to hold a special session of the Assembly this November to discuss the idea of a treaty. We seek the support of OECS member states for this idea, and we welcome your active participation and its development. The call for an international pandemic treaty was first tabled at the end of March, receiving support from 25 governments and international groups, including the WHO in attendance. The special World Health Assembly scheduled for November will be held to gain the commitment of more country leaders.